What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I know <clears throat> it has been a while, and um, I do apologize for that. I really do, because I've been very busy uh, with the holidays and all that kind of thing. Speaking of holidays, I hope you guys had a great Christmas, a great New Year, and I hope this 2020 year is your year and you know, everything goes well for you. 2020 sounds so crazy, by the way. You know, we're in a new decade. It's crazy. I have some big news, as you can see right here, a little preview. Um, still doing guitar. I'm going to break down this song by, well, sung by uh, Luke Bryan and Chris Stapleton. They both wrote it together, actually. It's an awesome song called Drink a Beer, and it's just it's just a great song. Now, let's, I'm going to move the camera down a little bit here. Uh, boom. All right. Perfect. This is my brand new guitar. And man, she is a beauty. Because this is a Martin, and it is a very, it is just such a nice guitar. It's got a nice cutaway here. <clears throat> it's actually acoustic electric, if you can see that. It's got, you know the uh the port on the back there and it is it's awesome it's got a built-in tuner and it just sounds fantastic now if you are brand new to my channel you know that sorry let's just adjust this camera here okay you know that i do a lot of guitar videos sorry if my head's cut off but i want to you know show you this but yeah it sounds you know It's just the best. It sounds so good. Uh, I love it. So thanks to my shout out to my parents for getting this for me. Um, all right. Anyways, let's jump into the song. Now, if you don't have a capo, I recommend getting one because that is every guitar player's best friend. Capo, cheap, easy to afford, lets you play thousands of songs. Not really, I don't know, thousands, but you know what I mean. Anyways, for this song... <clears throat> We are going to be going on the first fret. Now my guitar is tuned down one half step. So I will be using the actual second fret, but it's technically the first fret because, like I said, it's tuned down one half step. So you want to be in that tuning right there. Nice, easy, open chords. All we're going to use for this song is G, D, E minor and a regular C chord. Not a C at nine, just a regular C. Now go through those chords a little bit. G is going to use your four fingers, obviously. I don't know why I said that. Cut, editor, cut. <laughs> Fourth finger is going to be on the third fret of the high E. Third finger is going to be on the third fret of the B. And then the uh, G and D string are going to be open. And then you take your first finger and put that on the second, I believe, yep, second of the A. And then your second finger, sorry, I'm flipping you guys off. Second finger is going to be on the third of the low E. That is your G chord. Going down to a D chord, it's going to be your first finger on the second of the G string. Third finger, uh, your ring finger is going to be on the third of the uh, B string. So your ring finger actually can really just stay from the G to the to the D. And then take your second finger, your middle finger again, and put that on the second of the high E string. That's your D chord. Strum all four, starting from that D string. Okay. And I actually I did I, I lied, I apologize. We're also gonna also use in addition to the C chord. use a C at nine okay so that's just like your G take the top two fingers and slide them down one for your 
through C. And what I do is I just kind of rest my thumb on this low E string to kind of mute that because you don't want. I mean, if you get in there, it doesn't sound terrible, but like it sounds better with it just muted. Okay. So that's basically the same thing. Now for your C chord, you're going to take your first finger on the first uh, fret of the B string. Going from B to C, B to C, first fret, okay, and then take your middle finger and go on the um, second fret of the D string, okay, second fret of the D string. Take your ring finger and go on the third fret of the A string. That's your C chord. And like I said, kind of mute that that low E. We don't want that to ring out. Will not sound good. All right. So the strumming for the song is just gonna be like. And you can, you know, modify that to what you guys like to do. But you're going to start out by, start off in the intro by going on that G chord. And then going to the D chord. And I'll, I'll, I'll play it and I'll show you what I'm doing. doing there is I'm starting I'm kind of doing a hammer on on that A string on the G chord going to the D and I'm taking my pinky and I'm making that that so hammer on with your first finger on the D First finger on the uh, G string. Going up to the, up to your pinky there. Off, and then go to the C, add nine. And then kind of do a hammer on off and on the, off of that D string there. But um, yeah, so that's the intro. The chords for the verse are going to be in this order. It's going to be G, C, or C at 9, D, C, and then G again. So I'll play through the verse and then I'll go on from there. When I got the news today, I didn't know just what to say. So I just hung up the phone I took a walk to clear my head This is where the walking led Can't believe you're in your own Don't feel like going home So it's just G, C, D, C, G For the verse, just go down and up That's basically, that's how I remember it and then, um, don't feel like going home. Just let that ring out. And then for the chorus, you're going to go, So I'm going to sit right here on the edge of this bed. Watch the sunset disappear. So that's going to be like that. Now, that's the chorus. So basically, you're just going to go G, C, D, on the edge of this P, E minor. Watch the sun set So. Of 
sunset, go to that C chord to make it sound like in the recording. Watch the sunset. Chord, go down to the D, let that D ring out, and drink a beer, back to the C, or G, G, G. And then, um, so then you got the second verse, but for the bridge uh, portion, you're going to go, um, start on, okay, so the E minor, just leave the bottom two locked on there, you're ringing your pinky, leave those two locked, usually you play an E minor like this. I bar the first fret of the, um, or the second fret of the A and the D string. That's how I usually do B minor. Sometimes I play it like regular, but I don't know, whatever, it, whatever it's, it's, it's preference. So for this E minor, just keep it, your bottom two locked and just play those two. So you're going to go, so long. Sorry if my singing is terrible. So you're gonna go so long, E minor, my friend, to a D, to a C ring out. Kind of pause for a second, then go right back into the chorus. So that's that. I'm not using a pick, I'm just kind of Using my finger, but I feel like I get closer to the guitar that way. You can use a pick if you so choose. But yeah, so that bridge is just gonna be E minor to the D, back to the minor to the D to the C. Same thing. Searing out. Play the chorus again, and then after that, drink a beer. See at night, drink a beer. See the G. Drink a Kind of make whatever you want uh, at the end. Sorry about that. <laughs> make whatever you want at the end there. Um, but that is Drink a Beer by Luke Bryan and Chris Stapleton. Fantastic song. One of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to go into more videos in the future. Definitely going to start posting more in 2020 because that is one of my New Year's resolutions. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. If you don't mind, I don't really like saying this, but you know, if you want to, that would be awesome. Hit that subscribe button, like, bell, notifications, because I don't post often, but when I do, you're going to definitely want to know because this will make you a better guitar player in learning new songs. I'm not the best guitar player, but I'm slowly getting there. Now, I will go into a little more detail about this awesome guitar in the future in another video. Uh, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Stick around and tune in for the next video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you then. Peace.